Hello YouTube and happy Canada Day everybody. I hope you're having yourself a grand jolly good summer adventures and beautiful weather. Today on Imperion I'm going to be showing off my brand new aircraft space carrier. This is the Royal Canadian Space Navy's Duke of Destruction. And unfortunately Canada doesn't have any actual aircraft carriers so I couldn't really base it off of like any Canadian carriers so this is a build that I pretty much spent my entire weekend doing it's my first carrier in Imperion it's quite a formidable beast maybe most outer hull is combat steel with double layer hauling in some areas so that um, let's say if some thrusters do get hit when they explode they're in their own little uh, rooms this carrier is designed to be a mobile end game base that you can also level up later on. The only sad thing about this carrier, if I will say, just like most massive end game ships, this carrier has a very outright CPU usage of 31 million, pretty much 32 million out of the 10 million. So this is not a CPU friendly CV unless you have an advanced core. I'm showing off the uh, vanilla uh, variant right now at the moment. I am still working on the Reforged Eden. I have the CG Consortium carrier done and made. That thing is an absolute monster, but uh, Right now, this is just the vanilla format, so I have like the basic amount of turrets allowed on a ship. For instance, uh, when you go to create and build your own ship, you can only have so many missile turrets and cannons, miniguns, artillery, and laser guns and whatnot, so I, I have hit the max, unfortunately. But uh, that's not to say, though, if you're playing on a no-block limit server, you could put more on for sure and have them like work around. So let's start off with we will go inside and we'll check it out. So here's a the top deck uh, airlock. So we go down here. First level here is the bridge. All these different components and nice decorations, I'd say. This bridge actually, I think, turned out all right. Uh, there's some new decorations that came into the game earlier. Uh, unfortunately, the planet maps aren't working again. So this bridge is all nice combat steel and armored out so that hopefully it should stay resilient I want a nice big open bridge concept not like where most carriers where it was just like the roof is right above you one block high all right in this room here I've actually left this room empty on purpose this is the planned garden however whenever I do um, the builds I like to keep the garden out of the ship and add it into during the survival game that I'm playing just so I'm not trying to run around and find those plots because those plots seem to always kind of suck to find yeah that's the planned garden room so we'll go down to another floor this here is the uh, crew or aircraft pilots living quarters so there's the bunk rooms for them over here on each side left and right you have the women's washroom and the women's bathroom uh, individual showers and then yeah you come in through here we have the main living quarter area so there's like a nice like cooking area you can, like get your order placed all your food we have four lounging sitting areas TVs we got different spots for computers we have a little medical bay area wardrobes pretty much every basic thing needed for the soldiers coming down now if we go down another floor we have the lab and science offices area so got like all this laboratory equipment this is mostly to like for aesthetic looks got like some security turrets the, these are also the exit and entrance airlocks when you go onto the deck, see so yeah, when you come out onto the deck of the carrier, you have entranceways. There are some sentry turrets that kind of guard just in case. Come back in this way. Another exit off to the deck. And then in here, we have the observation deck or observation room with a. I know usually most carriers won't have this type of uh, feature on them, a giant glass domed window type section I figured why not it's armored glass it's pretty strong 
It's not like, and then of course I have all this extra, this is all combat steel layered in this section here. So it's pretty strong. Come through back into the science lab offices area. We'll go back down to the elevator. Now we'll come to the hangar level, the hangar section. Oh, what happened here? This is all missing. Oh, there were supposed to be railings here, but it's all missing. Oh, well, okay. I guess I'll have to fix that. So over here, the hangar. Every carrier needs a lower section hangar area. This has the potential to carry a whole bunch of large hovercraft. So the boxer tank, for example, I could hold uh, three to four of those, or I could have six of them in here, maybe more. I haven't done a full carrier fit yet. This is uh, the second largest hangar door. A lot. There's no like ramps because in, technically it should sit should sit low enough that a hover tank can float up and onto it. Nice and simple. Nice good landing ground operations. Then over actually over here before I go any further, we have the repair um, engineer bay. Allows we can quickly fix up all of our creations. You know how it works. You just put your creation or your tank or plane or whatever right in the middle of that. You go to the thing and it'll ask you what resources you need. You put the resources in, hit the button, and boom, fixes it right back to square one. Over here, we have one of the many engine rooms. Uh, this is, would be the bow, the bow lower engine compartments along with all the main ship. Uh, yeah, pretty much all, like anything radioactive, I put up in a room that's like this with like warning warning signs pretty much everywhere it gets very hot in this room so you don't really want to go in here unless you've got a drone or if you're like gonna float in what specific spot all right so that's the front of the ship let's go all the way to the back here so when you come down from the elevator yeah you would follow this this little walkway go along that way if you want to explore we have our ammo crates here for ammo containers might have to add a couple more over here we have some of the new decorations these like little tables here they have some new deco to them we have a whole I like the purple the purple LCD screens it's pretty nice over down there is a gravity generator go down one more level here this takes us to the floor level of the hangar bay and then we also have some more our port and starboard um, downward forcing thrusters that help push the ship up off the ground. As I mentioned, all of these thruster rooms are in like their own armored, like combat steel armored area. So if they explode, they won't cause any damage to other outlying systems. Want to keep everything protected. Next, we will go further back. This is the power and oxygen storage along with the CPU room. So I left plenty of room and it's our extra armor as well, extra combat steel. So in the event that you take this to Reforged Eden or Atlantis or CG, there's plenty of room to add extra CPUs, aux cores, pretty much everything you would need to keep this ship up to date and upgraded. As I did mention though, this ship has a lot of CPU usage requirements. So either you're gonna need the um, the really advanced core. This room here is its own. There's like three layers of armor around this core for your core section. That way nothing can uh, penetrate it that easily. So if you were to play this on Reforged Eden or any other modded type of scenario, this section here is devoted to be for all the shield capacitors and augmenting shield like capacity. So everything you would need for space, whether it's um, pretty much anything that's like shield related or extra power storage. Luckily, all of these power banks or these um, fuel cell fuel tanks, they're all protected with a armored glass along with combat steel all around on both sides and extra layers on the other side make life a little easier there over here we have the shield room yep we got a nice simple shield because this is vanilla you only get like two types of shields that's it up here see the little symbol so be weary this is the engine room uh, bay 
the engine room engineer bay for like the main back thrusters. A whole bunch of the thrusters are located. So you can go down this section here. You just have to be super careful because there's like radiation heat everywhere. It gets up to a thousand degrees over here. So we have our warp drive, gravity generator, pretty much this is where all of our uh, super heavily radiated stuff kind of chills. I had to reinforce the stern section and along the uh, port starboard sides of the aft with some extra layer of combat steel. That way, if uh, I was running away from something and my engines started exploding, it won't wreck the warp drive. Because God forbid, if I lose the warp drive, well, I'll add some adventure. All right, so coming back down this way, we have this room down here. And this room is the fabrication and assembly room. So there's a ton of room in here. Got plenty of open space for like other stuff if you want to like, add more storage containers. Or pretty much anything, like decorate it with a whole bunch of laps. I just left it open to, you know, always customize for other people. If you want to put Deconstructor on, you just have to take these consoles out. You just take them out with your block block tool. And, yeah, then you can have Deconstructors. I don't have a lot of stuff on this, really. It's pretty much leaving it a little bit open so that's not as bad resource-wise. And at the same time, it leaves a lot of room for like personal customizations. Her main weapons include four rocket artillery cannons. If you're playing Reforged Eden, those are artillery guns, but in vanilla, I think they're called the rocket launchers. And then we have six advanced laser cannons that give her that extra push when disabling shields. And just because I like the idea of living in space, I added three asteroid harvester lasers. That way I can actually pull up to an asteroid and, you know, get get the goodies that are needed. I gotta say, I'm actually really happy with this build. I'm hoping you guys enjoy it. I'm about to upload it to the workshop. I'll have some pictures and then I'll throw this video on with it. Uh, if you want to see this thing in action, I don't know exactly what I'm going to throw up against it. Whether I'm going to go up against like just the regular Xyrax destroyer or say screw it. Go combat some Tovera. I don't think this thing could take on a Tovera though. Tovera has a lot more weapons and firepower. It, it breaks the cycle of CPU requirements too. Just Tovera. And that's why I don't play with CPU because all the enemy ships that you're fighting, they don't have a CPU limit. They can just go whatever they want and then you're like limited to a CPU. So I just like screw it. As long as I have like all the stuff needed. And it works out, hit the 10 million. That way I'm not just like saying screw it. But yeah, that's uh, that's the carrier build. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you want to be able to check out some more Imperion videos. If you look forward to seeing this thing in combat, make sure to leave a comment down below about what I should maybe fight. Hope you enjoyed. Happy Canada Day. As always, stay safe. And stay happy.